What's going on everyone? It's Roka and today I have a super easy chest and farming route for you guys. From this route you guys will be able to get around 40 common chests. Now I didn't get 40 exactly because some despawned for me and some haven't spawned for me. So um, you also get some other rare chests around the map if you haven't found them already just from exploring some minerals and some enemies of course. And it'll only take you about 15 minutes or so. And now I didn't take the most optimal path possible so the time can easily be lowered probably as little as 10 minutes or so because I did mess up mess up a little in the run so if we look at the map you're going to see all these markers on the map and that's pretty much every common chest I was able to find in an optimal slash quick route um, there may be more or less for you depending if you've opened these chests recently or not because I know for sure there's definitely more chests than this around here but for some reason they just haven't spawned for me I'll pop up the general route on the screen so you guys can get a general idea of what it looks like. And without further ado, let's just jump, jump right into it. So first off, you're going to want to go to where I am on the map right now. And there will be a chest right here. We're going to spawn on top of it. And then, obviously, you just open it to start it. You're going to run up the hill. And then there's going to be another chest a little bit to the left, right behind this rock. Then um, you're going to run up the hill. You're going to see a chest right here. You guys could get that, but I don't really want to fight these slimes to get them right now. Uh, go to the edge of the hill. I'm waiting for my stamina to come back up and jump off. You're going to see this chest right here. Run north and you're going to see a camp. Uh, defeat the enemies and collect the common chest. Right, from here we're gonna run along the coast uh, and there's gonna be a couple chests uh, there's gonna be a pretty rare chest right here if you want to defeat that enemy you can but for the sake of the video I'm not gonna de defeat it because it just takes up time and it's not a common chest run to the edge uh, you're gonna see a common chest and collect it climb up Then there's going to be three chests over here. It's going to be one chest right below that uh, outpost. Collect it. Uh, run up the hill behind this rock. There's going to be another chest. And then you're going to want to climb up that outpost again. There's, and then there's going to be another chest. Look north and then jump off the edge of it, then you're going to see a little camp, just run past it, keep following it in until you see this chest right below this cliff. I'm just waiting for my stamina to regen. And right on this uh, pretty big rock, you're going to see a whole bunch of minerals. And right behind it is going to be a chest as well.
keep getting stuck on rocks and the camera angle is a little weird so it's kind of confusing me but anyways uh, run north again and jump off right here on and you're gonna find a chest climb back up this ledge it's kind of annoying it hit me off Anyways, right here, uh, there's a little clip in the video because there is a marker on the map and I just had to uh, double check to make sure I didn't pass. Kill this camp if you want. I haven't, so I'm gonna go kill them. So, th so that's why there's a little cut. And by this waterfall, there's gonna be a common chest right next to it. Then you're gonna cross this uh, river, lake, or whatever this body of water is. And right there, it, the game kind of messed up my ability. I didn't want to shoot it behind me. I meant shoot it in front of me, but whatever. And kill this little camp of enemies, and then collect the chest. I'm just checking the map to make sure I'm going the right direction. Now we're going to start heading southwest. So right here, there's a huge drop off and there's a chest all the way down at the bottom. However, you may or may not want to go down here because it does take a lot of stamina to climb back up. If you're an early level, you I'm not sure if you guys will be able to make this climb back up. So you guys can skip this chest if you want. But anyways, head towards the outpost. There's going to be a couple chests over here. There's a chest to my right. Uh, I missed it, but don't worry, I'll go back towards it. And as always, there's a chest all the way at the top. Anyways, since I missed the chest, I'm going to go, I'm going to have to jump back and find the chest right behind this rock right here. It's hiding a little bit. Um, jump off, follow me, don't mind me, I'm just looking around. There's three torches right here. Shoot them up and you're going to find a rare chest. Then right below it, there's going to be a common chest. Uh, from here we're going to teleport to the spot on the map because I accidentally missed around five chests so I had to go back here and add this part in the video so sorry for the inconvenience and I hope you understand all the cuts in the video around here and the jumping around. Some more ores. It's good to have a claymore. And right here, I'm just thinking of where I need to go next. So jump off the cliff and just keep following me. We're gonna have to climb this cliff 
to our left right here. Don't mind me. Don't go this way. I'm just thinking of where I need to go. So wait for your stamina to go all the way back up. Then you're going to climb this right here and then this is going to be a test. So then tele teleport back to right here and then go alongside this lake. And then there's going to be a couple uh, chests along the southern side of this lake. Kill the enemies protecting the chest. Cross it and then kill these enemies protecting the chest as well. Run over here and climb up. And there you go, that's the final chest that I missed. Move back over here. So anyways, jump down here, and there's going to be a couple chests over here alongside this beach. And if you're confused as where to go, just look for the map. Uh, on the west side, you're going to see a little beach. And as you can see, there's a chest outside, right out there in the lake. I'm going to wait for my stamina to come back up because I don't want to drown. We're going to run towards the edge of this mountain or a cliff or whatever this is. And then there's going to be a whole bunch of ores and minerals over here so you guys can collect them if you want to. I'm not. Uh, we're going to jump and glide into the top of this little hut. I'm not sure if you guys may need to kill the enemies guarding this chest or not, but if you do, then kill them. I didn't, so just continue along this way. In Whispering Woods. There's a lot of chests in here, however, I wasn't able to find all of them. And you guys may see more chests in here than I was able to, so... As you can see, there's a little chest on top of this pillar. Don't try to climb it. You're not going to be able to because of this uh, platform that sticks out. So you're going to climb this right here and then jump onto it. Anyways, you're going to want to teleport to this waypoint right here. And this is These are going to be the last uh, couple chests there is. Right 
we're gonna head west before we collect those chests right next to us just because uh, you could do either one first but I decided to choose this one once we collect that we're gonna teleport back Head this direction and then jump off. Don't jump off all the way because as you can see there's going to be a chest right here. There should have been a chest here because I checked before doing all of this and there was a chest there but it, for some reason it despawned for me. Anyways, run, ac run across this camp and we're going to head towards our final chest. Here we go, that is our final chest in the run. And we could have, I could have added more chests in the run, however I didn't want it to be too long, you know, like 20-30 minutes for like 60 chests. I wanted to make it short and as dense as possible, so that's why I ended it here. Like I said earlier in the video, um, I didn't take the most optimal route possible, so you guys could definitely shorten the time on this. You guys could definitely shave off minutes to make this probably 10 minutes. I could see it going down as early as 10 minutes and probably like 40 plus chests in 10 minutes. I could see it that definitely happening because for some reason some chests despawned on me and I know there's more chests out there around those areas but they just haven't spawned for me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stick around, subscribe because I'm going to be posting more Genshin Impact videos like this in the future. Um, some more informational videos, some guides, some tutorials, tips, tricks, all kinds of videos. So stay tuned. See ya. I'm a chef chef I this masquerade Hiding both face and mind A free for you to draw I'm a chef chef Want a shirt to be Please don't take off my mask Revealing dark